Today we are visiting the very cute little old um, village of Lausa and so we're gonna go and see that and see the little houses. Um, the area around there, around Lausa was, or Lusa, was, um, you know, it was inhabited like uh, since really ancient times, like the second century or something. And apparently people fled there one at one time, around that time, when there were invasions in the old Roman settlement of Conimbriga. People would kind of take off into these mountain areas to try and escape. And Loza was one of those settlements. So we're going to go and see that. And we're just kind of, we have to park down below here somewhere and then walk up. And I'm not sure where we're going to park. We'll probably go a little bit further. Um, so you can see behind me the Loza castle. And then um, there's like a little walkway here. That's kind of nice too. Here's the little kind of walkway, as you can see. It's a sort of wooden um, path, trail kind of thing. And it goes all the way over in the distance. And then you can see the castle right there as well. Um, and then I'm not sure if that's the Shisto village up there or not. I'm not too certain of that. We'll find out. We're on our way. <laughs> but look at this view. Isn't that stunning? There's some steps leading down. That Maybe that's a trail down there, I don't know. I'm sure there's a lot to explore here. There's a little fountain there, a little water fountain. And look at this. Here is the castle, and I believe it's um, closed now. But anyway, let's just cross the road. All right, there's some information here. I don't know if you're gonna be able to read it on this. Uh, it's just really just about the area. There's a little more about it. Anyway, there's certainly a lot to read on these boards. Um, and I haven't taken the time to really read it because I really just want to see things more. Look at that. Amazing, isn't it? There's more load of writing here as well. Here is more information. Oh, so much to read. It's really quite an enchanting sort of place isn't it look at this it's all made of the local rocks so apparently there's not that much information on the age of the castle itself it looks like you can actually park up here close to right next to the castle on this little hill if you go further along the road we left the car kind of on the side of the road okay so walking up the castle we thought it was a castle that you know they close oh it is closed oh okay so it is closed now so it has certain opening times the hours. there you go let's kind of see inside they've made a weird oh my god what's that kind of weird metal um contemporary stairway going up for some reason come on lynn <laughs> It's kind of a long walk from where we oh there we go from where we left the car and we're not sure if we can actually make it up to the village because it's already a bit late in the day okay this is actually a Praia de Fluvia which is like a little uh, area where people like to swim Praia actually means beach it's not really a beach but it's like a little riverside picnic area look at this tables and stool, uh, benches yeah I'm not sure that people just kind of you can't really swim there but maybe they just kind of hang out in the water and they get through their feet <laughs> stunning isn't it new bridge new bridge okay so there's actually a waterfall here too as you can see in the distance over there Oh, this was an old mill. Look at the mill stone down there. Of course, it makes sense, doesn't it? Considering it's right next to the water there. So there's a restaurant up there, so there's 
got some of the staff going back and forth with boxes and things here. Okay, so I'm walking in here by myself because it doesn't look like they allow dogs in here for some reason. So it's an old house. Look at this. It looks like it's abandoned. This was the old mill house, presumably, once upon a time. House of Nature. Casa de Natureza, it's called. It's winding stone steps. Picnic area here. And walk up here to the waterfall a little bit so we can get a better view of it. God, they've been swimming like crazy here. That looks terrible. How did people cope in the old days? I wonder. When before swimmers, <laughs> just did things by hand. Okay, now we have to go up here. It's quite a. Oh my goodness. What this was. Look at this. Lovely wildflowers on this side. The side that they haven't ruined with the strimming. The smell. The wonderful smell of the water. This must be the beach area where people come and swim. So this is like a little area where you can hang out and swim perhaps. If you're feeling brave. <laughs> oh, there's some people walking around here with the dog. <laughs> this is quite magical, isn't it? To be careful around these places, not to fall. There must be another way to get in here from back there, because there were people with, with a dog here as well. And at the entrance there, it said no dogs. <laughs> There's Bab and Lynn over there waiting. So this is the Praia Fluvial. I think that's where we, yeah, that's where we came down from. So, from what we can see, there are actually a bunch of Shisto villages. We're trying to figure out what the one closest to us is. It's maybe this one. Yeah, so, because we're not sure how far we can drive up there to find parking and then how long it is to walk and so on. Okay, there's actually a trail, look. Here in this tiny little sign, it tells you that you can get to the Talasnal village along here. And that's uh, just to the left of where we were looking at these signs here. See that? With opposite the uh, castle. So, let's try it, huh? I don't know why the sign was so tiny. <laughs> and the other one here takes you back to Lusa. Right there. So, let's try Talasnal. <laughs> so, we're taking this little trail. Now, if you look up there, you can see the one of the villages up there, the Shisto villages. I don't know which one that is. I'm still not sure. And further up there, there's another little old building I can see, so I don't know. Anyway, it's about how far about? Two kilometers? Okay, so let's get going. So it's about, it's going to be about um, two kilometers to that first um, Shisto village. Tal Talasnal? Was that it? Talasnal? <laughs> Hope I'm pronouncing it right. So, um, yeah. The air is just so beautiful and fresh here, it really is. But I think probably a little more towards the summer it's going to get quite busy. There's already quite a few cars out there. There's a restaurant and so on. And there's the castle down there. We're kind of walking around uphill. There's a lovely little chapel there too that I wanted to go and see, but we can't do it all. There's just so much to see and and uh, so many places to hike around here. It's really incredible. It's one of the most beautiful places I've found. we found so far here in Portugal. Amazing. Ah, uh, the steep, huh? Woo! Be careful here. So that's the stream down there leading off from the waterfall 
is further to the right there where the buildings are the chapel and the castle look at that there's actually another little chapel up in the distance there incredible people must have been so fit back there um i should mention this is not necessarily an easy walk okay there's a lot of uphill um and then there's this kind of gravelly kind of trail here so be reasonably fit if you're going to do this if you're going to walk this far so be warned <laughs> and wear the right shoes and bring plenty of water as well <laughs> especially if it's a hot day she's still ruining here look at this just want to see what it looks like look at that i wonder what this was just somebody's home perhaps or is it a place for keeping animals looks like it was a little house once she's still house Oh, look at that, had two levels too. Definitely an abode, and quite big. What a view, can you imagine the views here? Of the valley down below. Incredible, isn't it? Look at this. People were so short back then, look at that beam there. It looks like where the ceiling would have been perhaps. Amazing. And here's another part to it here different rooms. One point looks like there was cement or something on the wall there. I don't know what this is. We're still on the trail. Uh, this looks like someone's living here or something. I don't know. Probably for people working here. Leaving trash laying around, which is really anyway, way. Look at this right beside this kind of bizarre looking shed thing. Yeah, what's all this? Looks like someone was living here. Oh, look at this room. Mm. This likes people. This must be perhaps the people who used to live here, the, you know, um, and their families owned these houses back in the day. So now I'm guessing they just use some of these places for storage. They probably have the right to do this here. Look at this, it actually looks like people are actually living here still. Oh, look at that. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't need Okay. Poor oh boy, it's probably a bit lonely here. I don't know if anyone lives here. It looks like he's just a he's just a guard dog perhaps. Poor thing. It's okay, darling. It's okay. So I don't know if anyone actually lives here. There's a building there, it's like a big building. And uh, four dogs alone there. Probably just a guard dog. And uh, we're walking up here now. On our way to the village, which I'm, I'm assuming is not this. <laughs> it's pretty steep as you can see. A little bit treacherous. Um, so just go easy if you come here. It's wet here. Look at this mountain stream running down. It's pretty hard. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> there's a little chapel down there where we just came from. Below are those houses where that dog is. All right, here we go. So. Maybe those buildings down below there are something to do with the chapel, I don't know. Anyway, I expect it's locked. But we didn't even see a way up there. <laughs> We're sweating. <laughs> it's hot now. All right. Finally, there are signs up here. <laughs> All right. Let's see what these signs say. Let's see. All right, here. So, here's the, two of the villages go to the left here, and then Talas now, that's the one we're going to, just because it's the closest one, <laughs> and then that's the central hydroelectric thing in the castle that way. So anyway, let's keep going. Okay, so here we're 650 meters to Talas now up this hill. Let's go. Huh. In. Hey. 
Hey. <laughs> Okay, this is the trail, believe it or not. <laughs> okay, kind of goes down there. It's a little bit better here. But it's still a little bit narrow in places. You've got to be careful because this is quite steep down here. Lots of chestnut trees here. Wow, look at this. Oh, they're actually just tree stumps. Look at this. That looks very... Mystical, amazing, lovely old chestnut tree, very few hundred years old, look at this. It's actually still alive. This here says difficult access, so that's, so we're going to try this one up here and um, we're going to try this one instead because yeah. I'm assuming there's an easier access, yeah. <laughs> but we don't know. Okay, yeah, because there's these marks on the on the stone here tell us that this is the way forward, but it doesn't say anything down there. It just says to go that way. Exactly. Difficult access. Okay, there are actually more signs up here, thank God. Because that was difficult enough as it is coming up here. I don't want an even more difficult access. Considering it's already late, we still got to get back. Crab's calling me and I'm exhausted. <laughs> oh gosh, okay. Anyway, you have to uh, realize that this is going to be quite a bit of exercise before you decide to hike up here. Any of these places, these villages. There's the village. I'm assuming that's Talasna. Talasna. So we're going to keep going on the trail. We're almost there. I keep saying that, don't I? <laughs> to give you an idea how narrow this trail is, it probably wouldn't be good for bikes, would it? Mountain bikes? Oh, maybe. Some of it would be a bit of a challenge, though. Probably not advisable. Oh, nice and cool up here. Look at the shista walls here. In the beginning of the, the old village, she's still mountain village. Look at the views. There's probably Luza down there. Look at it. This. Look at that. Two-story house, huh? Or perhaps it's for keeping animals. Walk up this little road. And of course, there are people still living here. Like this. I suspect a lot of these are now vacation homes. See that people are buying them, fixing them up. See that? Turning them into holiday homes. There's this one. Isn't this amazing? views of the hills behind it and this one's pretty well preserved it's too bad these places though they stop being working villages and they end up as just vacation places artistry of people back then. You just don't see it anymore really, do you? These little doors. must have been a very 
close-knit community. Once upon a time. Yeah, a lot of these are just for rent, for tourists. Look at that, there are signs up there on the doors saying for rent. And of course they cost a fortune, no doubt. A bar. Mm, look at this, very quaint, very pretty. It's like little, little gnome houses, huh? So creative. So as you can see, my face is bright red from walking uphill. <laughs> the beetroot red, because that was pretty tough, but it's really well worth it. But I recommend driving, unless you're really fit. You know, you definitely should drive. Because um, this is about two kilometers um, walking uh, from the uh, castle, that little castle area where we parked and um, I don't know how far it is if you drive but it takes about 25 minutes or something like that but anyway the walk is really kind of windy and you know it's it's kind of hard so <laughs> so be warned if you decide to walk but it's just absolutely beautiful and this is just that Talasna one so this is just one of the uh, she's still villages but once again I just imagine what this was like when it had life to it you know people actually living here and um, this whole community here everybody must have known each other I mean incredible you know not so easy in some ways but also quite special too. Oh yeah. Yeah, look at that. Look at this. You can't get this in modern houses, do you? Beautiful mountain plants and things growing on the on the walls. Now this is what really makes these places special, isn't it? these little things look at this how charming little chickens <laughs> that's really sweet I expect they sell them here somewhere I don't know everything seems kind of a little bit closed deserted I don't know maybe it's just not the right time of year okay so there's now what's this tell us no concert or something horse Some kind of little local businesses and things selling little handmade things, little restaurants and stuff. It's very charming. Look, here's a lovely little fountain. That's why this is actually called the Road of the Fountain. It's probably where people came to get water once, or is it more modern? I'm not sure, but anyway, restaurant bar. Oh, yeah, so. It's a restaurant, bar kind of thing here. It's 
is a tavern, I believe. And I'm not sure where everybody's gone, but it's probably just not the right time of year. There we go, a little bit about Talasana. You see, you could drive up here, you could park here as well. I suspect though in the tourist season, this is gonna be really busy. Yeah, you imagine it. Well, we're gonna make the long journey back down the hill <laughs> before it gets dark. I'm a little bit worried about it, but here we go. Because uh, it's already almost seven o'clock in the evening. So uh, anyway, thanks for joining us. And we only saw really just the one um, Shisto village, Talasnal. But there are the others, which I think we're going to try and do next time. So, so some other time, I think we will come back here and explore the others and perhaps some of the little chapels and things here that look like really quite charming. Because there are so many hiking places around here a lot to explore if you love nature and beautiful traditional things buildings and villages so anyway here we go back downhill <laughs> bye see you next time thank you for joining us <laughs>